Hello everyone. As always, I've got some exciting news to share with you. But I think there are some especially exciting ones today. So what's new? Well, our international weather station team set up a lot of new equipment around the area. New sensors and even video cameras that watch over the place with the highest chance of an eruption. More on that later. We had one big earthquake today, which was 4.6 in magnitude, and its origins were from a pretty unfamiliar place west of Grindavik. We haven't seen many earthquakes coming from there, and it's far from the location of the magma dike, which sits comfortably under the area around Mount Fagradalsvell. This can easily be explained though, as it came from an area where our experts have said tension has been building up, so the cause of this earthquake was due to a slight release in pressure. There's also a lot of news regarding how and where the volcano will erupt, and there have been so many changes even since yesterday's video. As I said in the beginning, a lot of new equipment has been planted in the area to monitor it more precisely. The most exciting piece of equipment is the weather radar that will detect an eruption as soon as it starts by analyzing changes in the atmosphere, so I have no chance of being the first one to see it anymore. Here you can see the most recent magma dike animation. It has moved 500 meters south since yesterday. By the way, here you can see Fagradalsfjall, Borgarfjall, and Nauthai, which are now all sitting above the magma dike. If it erupts now at its southernmost point, the lava is suspected to flow over the road Suðurstrandarvegur. It would take it 6 to 12 hours to reach it, but then it would continue on and end up in the ocean. That's the good ending. It's now been realized that the magma dike would be making its way towards the ocean. If it would reach the ocean and erupt there, we would be looking at a much bigger problem since the volcano would then produce a great deal of ash, which is the last thing you'd want close to big towns. The thing is that it's not too far from the ocean. You can see here in this Google Earth view how far the magma dike is from the ocean, and if the magma dike takes 500 meter hikes a day to the south, it could actually make it to the ocean. From where the southernmost point of the magma dike is believed to be now, it would only be around 4 kilometers that it would need to cover and then we would be dealing with an explosion, ash spewing, eruption, instead of a peaceful tourist eruption. That's all the news for today, a lot of exciting stuff happening, and if you want to be kept up to date on this situation, feel free to subscribe. If you really like the video, why not give it a thumbs up, so YouTube can share it with others, and maybe check out our website while you're at it. Thanks for watching.